right guys hi this is jason here from the nathaniel school of music and i'm going to teach you a very very popular bass line by ar rahman from the song urvasi and it's basically on c or c minor you could say <clears throat> and why i have chosen this bass line you you could have chosen any bass line really but um it's nice when you're practicing positions on the bass and i'm going to be dividing this tutorial into two parts one is to just show you how it can be played in different positions so that given any groove on the instrument or any tune or any line you can always rely on these positions and start off from there on and uh, try which position works best for you so i've chosen this one song but really it could be anything so that's one part of our tutorial series the, the exactly how to play this in different positions and the second part is focused more on 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 students who so, have sort of got the line but have but need to really groove with it like take it to the next level and really stand out from the crowd and for me that comes with just having a good sense of time and having a good sense of the feel of the groove of the song so both parts of the tutorial are are similar but focus on different things the first part focuses on the melody line and the position while the second part focuses on the groove so please stick with me and make sure to watch both the parts so first of the tune it starts on c and i'm sure you've all heard it if if you haven't already uh, go ahead and hear the song we have attached the li the link of the song in the description i don't think it's a bass guitar it's sort of like a synth or a keyboard or a marimba perhaps it sounds it does, doesn't sound like a bass but it can be quite a cool bass line okay and i've seen a lot of covers on youtube where you know they do it on the bass so so why not so it's basically this bam 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 that's c right so it starts on c bam 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 so try playing it with me maybe a little slower we start on c c d and e flat okay or the root the major second the minor third the perfect fourth which is under the root and the perfect fifth which is right here you should know your fifths on the bass right bum 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 slow that down and also note when i am playing this i'm not i'm not playing the notes very long you know like um sounds nice but i don't think it grooves that much you know so i'm playing it in this fashion so it's sort of just like a pulse or a, it sounds pretty much like a drum in that sense so to do that it's not really my left hand or the fretting hand it's the picking hand wherein i'm doing So I'm playing the notes really short by cutting it as best I can. Okay, slower. Okay, and moving forward <clears throat> now, as far as positions go, so you have these four fingers, right? we generally don't start off with the ring finger because the ring finger is weaker 
that's how our body is you can't really help that so one position which i started off now was with my index finger so with my index finger you should figure out the positions in that sense for example if i play the minor key i'm starting with my index and this is the shape my hand sort of moves fingers sort of move like this right so my entire lick or my entire bass line is going to be played starting from the index finger as i showed you so this you could say is the first or the second i'm not too sure what the name of the position is i i'll just say start from the index finger and figure it out from there now i could also start this from my middle finger okay and thus this index finger will have to reach here to the minor third it's slightly tricky but it's good for fretboard knowledge so so all that changed from position 1 to position 2 is first of all position 1 starts from the index finger position 2 starts from the middle finger right so position 2 and position 1 share almost the same things in common except for the minor third position 2 you'll have to play the minor third here and position 1 you'll have to play the minor third here okay position 1 position 2 so let's do position 2 very slowly right so i'm starting here and position 3 is where you could start from the little finger or the pinky and now i cannot possibly play my second here because that will be very very messy and very i'll have to shift my entire hand so i choose to play the major second here right la la major second so i find it here on the same string or here if i do it on the alternate or the uh, adjacent string so the same lick pam 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 parero 1 2 3 flat so pam 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 parero ro the four is as always under the one that pretty much doesn't change so pam 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 parero ro pam pam pa and now my five has come here as opposed to here so this you could say is the position 3 or the pinky position where you start from your little position a little finger so pam 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 right let's just recap all the positions once position 1 with the index i guess your go to position cuz it just feels good for some reason so position 2 middle finger to use my ring finger by mistake well you could use either i guess uh, and then the pinky bam 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 parero pam 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 again bam 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 parero pam 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 right so you don't have to play the riff in all the three positions but i sort of chosen this riff so that you can practice it on all the three positions and understand how how the the shape of each position works and thereby 
you get a lot more dexterity and a lot more fluidity in your playing and moreover you learn the instrument and the fretboard a lot more um a lot more uh, completely uh, as opposed to just one way of playing it which may be your current default so i urge you to try different shapes and moving forward in the next video what we are going to do is take the same riff and try to improve our timing and really try to get that groove flowing from our instrument right so practice this one take your time ask me if you have any doubts in the comment section and um, stay tuned for more in the next lesson which will be part 2 of this and as always this is jason here from the nathaniel school of music and please subscribe to our youtube channel for a lot more videos by our faculty and some cool performances by our students and a lot of stuff cheers